So now we can create our solid object and we're going to do that with the help of the sweep command. So the sweep command can be found in the create menu. Simply click on sweep and then we get a sub menu. So we don't want to have a single path, we want to have a path plus guide rail. So first we select the profile, then the path. And then the guide rail, that's going to be our polygon. And then you'll see our three-dimensional shape is created. We have created an eight-sided polygon going smoothly to a circle-shaped top piece. It is quite important that you select the right order with the sweep command. If for whatever reason the command doesn't work out as expected, it might be worth it to swap some sketches around for example try another sketch for your profile try another sketch for your path so now let's have a closer look at our solid object so if you look inside by just clicking on the top you see it's still open because we only made the sides of our teapot and not the bottom yet so that's what we're going to create now we're just going to and close it and we're going to do that by simply extruding the first sketch that we made. When a sketch is used for a command it's automatically hidden so I just need to get it back by ticking the light bulb. And then we simply click on that sketch then we go to create, extrude and then we can fill in a value so in this case I want the bottom to be 5 millimeters thick and you see that it turns red. That means that Fusion wants to operate a cut and that's not really what we want. We want it to join with the main teapot body. So we're just going to go down into the sub menu and we go to join and you see it's nice and gray and then I press OK. So I just want to make sure that the feature works correctly. So yeah, I can look inside like this, but I still don't really have a sense of what's going on. Well, there's good news because there's a really handy tool that can be found in the inspect menu. And that is called section analysis. So if you click on that, we first need to select a face that is going to be used as, let's call it an imaginary line. So I want to use one of my origin planes for that. So I'm just going to activate my origin again. And it is there. It's really hard to see. But if I just click on it now, you will see that our model is cut in half. But no panic, it didn't cut in half for real. It's just a representation. So if I press OK, if you're happy with the section, you see that a new feature is created in the browser menu. So I can simply click on that to recall it or to hide it. And let's have a closer look on the inside. Like, yeah, it happened nicely. I'm happy with this.